Hey everyone! What's up Facebook land? Happy Tuesday you guys! So we are going to be doing some homemade um, pretty much Caesar dressing tonight. Yes. Um, there's one ingredient that I know is very specific to it and I don't have... I'm not even sure if I want to buy because I'm not sure if I'll like it but... Hey Jessie! What are you up to girl? Thanks for joining! Yes. Tilly's getting a small handful of cut up apples. To hopefully keep her at bay for, you know, like a minute. Maybe not even a full minute. I have one party we're gonna get shared into and I'm gonna show you guys what I got going on and I'm gonna do the measure, mix, and pour. Hello, whoever else is joining you guys, when you jump on, say hi. Jesse, I know you check these out all the time. Let me know what you think about, um, ooh, yummy, spinach and feta chicken. That sounds delicious, Jesse. You should totally post that recipe for me. Um, Jesse, what do you think about, <laughs> what do you think about my new camera spot? Hey, Christy, just getting shared into your party so everyone else gets to join in too. I swear, every time I go live, I'm like in a new, I put my phone holder in a new new spot. And I'm just not sure what's the best. Okay, Christy, just got into your event, so everybody there will be able to check us out. Woo! All right, you guys, so it's Tuesday. I have a hungry puppy looking at me because I don't think she likes her dog food. So she's not eating it all the time. Mindy, hopefully you'll join in and you'll like have some good tips for me. Christy, what are you doing? You like that you can see from the top. Okay, perfect. I kind of like that too. I don't want to bend my arm too much, but I think this will work. So you guys, we are going to do um, just a quick salad dressing. And I'm going to show you guys what I use for ours. Um, sometimes I end up just using like an old empty, you know, mason jar or something like that. Um, or even a glass or a bowl because this thing is normally full of salad dressing and in our fridge all the time. Ooh, eating chili. That sounds amazing, Christy. Um, but this thing is really super convenient. So it's called the Measure, Mix, and Pour um, because it does all of those things for you. So um, without the glare here, you guys can kind of see what's on there, right? There's measurement lines here. There is... Um, multiple measurement lines for you but then there's also salad dressing ingredient in here and all these little lines it tells you how fill how full to fill um those items which is super smart right so there's a whisk built in here as well that is built into the lid it stores right in the dish so you can see that there right like how convenient is that and then there's a little spot and a spout for you to pour your salad dressing out when you're ready to use it. And if you're gonna store your leftovers in the fridge, you can just rotate the lid and it seals all the way just like that. So super awesome. Oh, Jessie uses her whipped cream maker for salad dressing. That's genius, Jessie. I suppose that mixes and pumps all of it perfect for you too and you have the lid right on there. That's awesome. So, um, I'm going to do, it's really hard for me not to do the Asian vinaigrette because that's like one of our favorites, but we have that one all the time. So I'm going to do the Caesar salad dressing recipe that's on here. Um, and again, I mentioned when I first started, this isn't going to be like, you know, traditional because I know um, traditional Caesar salad dressing always has anchovy paste or, you know, crushed up anchovies or whatever, but it has anchovy in it. So anchovy is something that we do not normally have um, at home ever. I don't even know if I've actually bought it before, but I'm still going to make it. Um, I know that anchovy adds a little extra saltiness, so I'm just going to put a little touch of salt extra in my dressing to make up for it. So you guys, um, homemade salad dressings are just super amazing because first of all, you make them so you know exactly what goes into them, right? Like they're super delicious, super fresh. And again, um, you can make as much as you want, store it in your fridge and you have fresh salad dressing all the time. Hey Michelle, how are you? How have you been? 
You guys, all of you, you're probably up in the snow and the cold. I really hope the weather gets nicer for you guys soon. So my first ingredient, which I know, again, you guys can't really see. I'll post a picture when I'm done. You guys can see what it looks like on the outside. I am filling to the line that it tells me to of lemon juice. Pretty self-explanatory. You guys, you probably saw me took this half of the lemon out of a plastic baggie. So I store lemon and lime, like if I have leftover, I just store it in my fridge in a plastic baggie or like any um, container in your fridge and it stores really well. So no need to throw it in the garbage. You can use it, put it to use for something else. So lemon juice is in. Love the citrus press, you don't miss a drop. Next ingredient is olive oil. And of course, if you guys wanted to use a different type of oil, whatever you want, you could do whatever you want. This says olive or canola oil on it. I wonder if you guys can see the line there. Oh yeah, you guys can see that. I'll put you guys down eventually so I can check out my measurements, but. What are you up to, Michelle? Pouring in, you guys, this is a dripless oil pourer. It's an old Pampered Chef product. I absolutely love it. Um, okay, so since our lines are already filled, then I'm just following the rest of the ingredient list here and adding what it's telling me to put in here. So I know I need some black pepper and I do have my measuring spoons out. I'll probably measure a little bit. You guys, if you use salt and pepper containers like this, you know, as soon as you take the lid off, it always like pours a bunch out, right? So I need a half a teaspoon, which I kind of already got some in there, but we like pepper, so I'm gonna do a little bit extra. And I'll just stick my measuring spoon, and it won't fit quite in there. Okay, so pepper looks good. I know I already got a bunch of salt in there. Um, what is next? Who makes homemade Caesar already too, anybody? I don't know if I've done Caesar per se, like legitimately, but we love Caesar salad dressing. It's like the perfect mixture of like creaminess, right? I think it is at least anyway. So two cloves of garlic pressed right in here. So I'm gonna use my garlic press, to get those in. And you guys, my replacement came. Now if anybody was watching last time, I used my garlic press. I had to use like a, probably just use my mix and scraper here, but our, uh, our little cleaner piece here went for a joy ride down the garbage disposal and it got pretty chopped up. So we ended up getting a replacement one. Oh my gosh, this smells so good already. You guys, you could literally just call this good right here. Like if you didn't wanna add anything else in this dressing, I mean, you could use this as a salad dressing and like think of how healthy this is for you too. Don't get me wrong, I mean, buying salad dressing from the grocery store is super simple but there are so many extra like just awful preservatives and stuff inside of those containers already which are not good for you um so we have been trying to not purchase anything like that from the grocery store and just making homemade stuff so we end up just mixing some stuff together all the time like whatever we need and we call it good and it's always super delicious so um, the other thing I do, of course there's water there, but that's okay. This recipe calls for Dijon mustard as well. Um, I don't have Dijon, but I have spicy brown, of course. You know me, I gotta have everything spicy, right? So I'm gonna do my spicy brown. Um, if you have like dry mustard, you could use that as well, which I do have dry mustard, but. Hi mom, what you doing? Um, what's next? Ooh, the anchovy paste. So again, I don't have the anchovy paste, but that's okay. So next I need one and a half tablespoons of Worcestershire. Worcestershire, however you guys pronounce that. Um, but so the other thing I was saying earlier with the homemade salad, or not homemade salad dressing, the store-bought salad dressing, there is so much, um, like added sugar in those as well which, you know, salad dressing isn't the healthiest thing in the world either, but it should, it's going on a salad, right? So it should be relatively healthy. Um, but yeah, store-bought has so much extra sugar in it, you guys. So if you have vinegar or um, 
you know, lemon juice, whatever you have for acid, throw that together with some oil, salt and pepper, and you guys are set. It does take a little while to get used to, I feel like, when you make a switch from anything like that, but it's totally worth it. You'll get used to it, and it's so good. And you guys, this is so much cheaper too, like vinegar, Worcestershire, oil, like this is stuff that we have at home all the time already. So it's not like we're having to spend extra money to make it, right? Which is great. Mom is on her way home. Good for you, Mom. Okay, what else do I need? Plain non-fat yogurt. I need two-thirds of a cup. How much is two-thirds? I don't even know, you guys, so I'm just going to guesstimate. I didn't pull out my, uh, ooh, do I have cup measurements on here? Nope, looks like I have millimeters and I have ounces. So that's okay. My whisk that goes in here is going to take all this down for me when I stir it up. So that's no problem. And the nice thing too is, I guess if I don't like the consistency of it, I can add something to it and make it a little runnier for me, right? Greek yogurt, plain Greek yogurt is something I always have in the fridge too. That's the yogurt that I like to eat myself too. Okay, let's mix. You guys are kind of at an angle here. Ooh, this is nice. Check that out, you guys. I mean, if you didn't want to use the whisk, I guess you wouldn't have to either. You could literally just make sure this is sealing your spout, right? But you could literally just put your hand over the top and give it a really good shake and shake it up that way too. So look at how simple and easy this is. Look at that color. You guys have a little glare from my light again, but this actually does look like, um, I mean, legit Caesar dressing too, which is awesome. So I'm gonna have to give it a taste and see if I really need to go out and buy some anchovy paste for next time I wanna make this. But how convenient is this, you guys? And again, you have your pour spout. Um, well, we'll see the consistency. I think I'm happy with that. Look at that, you guys. How awesome is that? And it looks delicious. Let's just give it a really quick taste because I'm curious. Oh, yeah, that's really good. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I have red pepper flakes on my counter for a reason because we like everything spicy, right? So that's the other nice thing. If you feel like spicy, add some cayenne or red pepper flakes or extra pepper into what you're making, right? You get to make it your own, and you guys, this is totally a smart swap because you don't have all the extra sugar and sodium and who knows what all of these other ingredients are from your store-bought salad dressing. So measure, mix, and pour if you are looking for something to help you make um, homemade salad dressings at home is awesome, you guys. If you have questions on any of that, let me know. Um, I'm going to leave you guys there. I'm sure most of you are making dinner or in the process of getting started to make dinner. So if you have questions on anything, you guys, let me know. And I will be in touch with those of you in Christie's party later. The rest of you guys, thanks for joining. I'll see you soon.